God is saying to you. Today make sure you watch the whole video before we start like and share the video so that this message reaches more souls in need. My beloved child, today, I urge you to exercise caution in whom you entrust with your life to avoid the deep hurts you've previously endured first, and foremost accept my love and immerse yourself in the peace, security, and truth I offer right now. I am placing my powerful hand upon your heart, washing away all your sorrows. Let my love engulf you, making you feel complete and secure, so you no longer seek this love from others when you are filled with my love and deeply connected to me. You will not impulsively give your heart away out of sadness or loneliness. You, you won't try to fill the void in your heart with those who might exploit your vulnerabilities. I am healing that wound, that emptiness within you. I am rejuvenating your weary soul, so you can live energized and confident from this day forward. Embrace the genuine and true relationship you have with me. Seek me daily. Stay enveloped in my peace, and you will not be deceived again. Accept my heartfelt affection. Embrace Ra, my true love. I am with you always and will never let you down. I love you. Right where you are, you will rise. You have much life ahead of you, many tasks to accomplish, many dreams to fulfill. Like and share the video. If you have trust in the words of the God, subscribe to the channel. If you love Jesus, show me your faith by trusting in my word and decisive rejecting negativity. Let no words of discouragement escape your lips and do not allow others to implant negative thoughts in your mind. I am the God who gave you life. Your future rests in my hands and my will for you will prevail. This is my decree. I want you to live and from today, awaken each morning with the spirit of a victor. I am instilling in you the ambition to scale mountains, to make changes in your life that will revive your spirit and your health. Yes, it's true. I can heal you. But you must place a higher value on your health and take better care of yourself. There is a wonderful future awaiting your family. They are as essential to you as your own life. They are part of your existence. And if I have sustained you with strength until now, it's because I recognize how deeply you care for them. You've prayed for the strength to continue fighting because your family relies on you. I hold all those you love in my hand, and though at times you may hesitate, you are the leader of your home, you are not replacing anyone. Others could have assumed this role, but they chose irresponsibility. They dismissed the beautiful blessing of dedicating their lives to such a lovely family out of love. Your children make see you frustration. They often disobey and disregard you, but believe in what lies deep within their souls, a heart that knows its missteps. Type 11. If you believe in Jesus as you have prayed, I am still at work in their lives, their tears shed in secret over their attitudes are slowly nurturing a small seed, and the day this seed sprout out as the ground of their rebellion will shatter with remorse. They will recognize their errors and return to you seeking forgiveness. You will weep alongside them but with joy celebrating the moment your perseverance and dedication finally bear fruit. That's why I ardently desire for you to live countless moments of joy await you. You will witness your loved ones overcoming their struggles and triumph thing over adversity. My word will be fulfilled. Remain vigilant and prepared. I am here to aid you, and your soul must be alert and receptive. You've expressed feelings of endless weariness, but I urge you to trust in me and seek my presence when burdens weigh heavily upon you. I will provide you with rest. Do not let your anxiety strip away your faith for your peace. The enemy is relentless, always scheming to make you falter, laying snares to drain your spirit and tempting you to abandon your faith. This has always been the case. Yet I am constantly guarding you, 
protecting you from the assaults of adversaries. Even in your sleep, you might sense the harshness of the battle, and often you've engaged in significant conflicts without even realizing it. Type, Amen, in the name of Jesus, I am your champion in the spiritual realm, battling evil forces, ensuring they cannot touch you when they seek to do harm. You are immensely privileged and blessed. You possess a significant advantage over those who wish to contend with you, because you have me. I am your heavenly Father, all-powerful and unbeatable. Do not perceive your problems as greater or are stronger than me. Resist being cornered or overwhelmed by difficulties. Do not succumb to fear upon hearing their threats. You don't need to be flawless or perfect for me to love and safeguard you, your family and your entire household, the enemies. May rush in with deceit and hollow accusations with fabricated issues and baseless charges. I will shield you from their harsh onslaughts, and, and I will lead you out of these trials as both a conqueror and a victor. Do not dwell on past mistakes, what you lack or your weaknesses. My word assures and promises you that my victory is your triumph. It emanates from my throne, from my very hands. Soon you will receive the recompense for your suffering, the reward for your bravery, the accolade for your resolve to prevail the crown of life, and numerous blessings that you must embrace and trust, in a firm with your words and with your heart, that you are ready to receive them. I am preparing you to accept all the prayers you have offered up. I seek your well-being, your liberty, your prosperity, and that you may experience boundless happiness, that your spiritual life may be fortified, and that harmony and peace may return to your family. You endured much in your childhood and as you grew those who should have cared for and protected you, let you down. I witnessed your tears one night, and they moved me profoundly. My angels and I wept alongside you as you journeyed through life. I have delivered and shielded you from dangers and even death. I have always seen your true worth, a valuable, intelligent individual with immense courage and a strong desire to advance type yes. If you are ready for the blessings that you are about to receive, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. You are like a tree that has grown deep roots and sturdy branches. I planted you precisely where you need to be today. I have been preparing you for these wonderful blessings that are soon to arrive. I have endowed you with my spirit of love and power so that your emotions align with your faith, your eternal salvation, your healing, and your emotional and sentimental stability are paramount. At this moment, never forget the power of my love for you, intense and enveloping. It surrounds you with holy and perfect affection in moments of of tears and trials. When you remember me, your soul will find rest and your heart will calm. Reach for my hand in the early mornings throughout your day, and when you return home weary in the evening, speak to me. I am always listening. Share with me your needs and what you cherish. Simply voicing these thoughts will bring you a sweet and profound peace. When you express gratitude, a divine oil soothes your spirit, filling your entire being with comfort and encouragement. Whenever you call on me sincerely and with faith, your soul is liberated from anguish. If you ever feel burdened, exhausted, sad or disheartened, come and take refuge. In my embrace, I will replace your brokenness with rest, your tears with joy type. I am embrace my power to affirm. Remember I am your best friend. You are never alone. Come and immerse yourself in my word. Even if loneliness strikes, know that you are safe. You will prevail by holding my hand and resting in my love. You will not fail. Confess your love for me and affirm your loyalty. Your happiness brings me joy. And when you are sad, 
I find ways to bring a smile to your face. I am not a harsh father. I take no pleasure in your suffering. I am not a merciless God, nor have I abandoned you. Contrary to what some may suggest, you are living in perilous times, where many challenge your faith and envy your joy. You must be vigilant about where you walk and to whom you listen. Beware of those who, with promises of peace and prosperity, use deceitful words to lead you into darkness. They may try to convince you that you don't need me, that you should lead your life independently of my guidance, yet you are eternally united with me, even as you navigate valleys shadowed by death, I am with you. But if you choose a mistaken path, you risk forgetting my promises, spurning my love and believing you don't need my words or protection. Still, I will continue to call you to touch your heart. I will place my hand on your shoulder and gently steer you back toward my will. Type I'm abundant to affirm, while I wish for you never to stray from me. Should it happen? I know you will long for my presence. The world of darkness holds no true and sincere love. Today you hear my words as a warning. Deceivers will come speaking smoothly to lead you astray. Do not follow them. Stay with me here. You have all you need free from problems, lies, betrayals, and the risk of harm in my presence. There is joy and life outside, only sadness and loneliness await. I saved you and chose you because I desire to see you succeed. Seed you will flourish in life. Trust in my promise as per my will. You will be a blessing and a role model to your family and community. Your prayers are heard, remembered, and will be answered with far more than you could imagine. Follow me, and I will give you a purpose, make you courageous and victorious. Though enemies may confront you, Fear none of them receive this blessing that I am bestowing upon you today. I love you deeply, and I am here to grant you the peace you've been seeking, the tranquility that you desperately need. I urge you to calm your spirit and not carry your anxieties like a weight on your back, a lump in your throat, clouding your thoughts like, and share the video. If you have trust in the words of the God, subscribe to the channel, if you love Jesus, it's crucial for your mind, your soul, and your entire being that today you surrender these negative emotions to me. Understand that, by holding on to your fear, anger, and frustration, you open the door to greater affliction. I'm aware of your concerns about material matters. Your financial situation remains unchanged and appears daunting, and uncertainties about your health weigh heavily on you instead of stewing in these worries night and morning talk. To me, share your burdens, what seems to cause you the most anxiety. However, is your family situation. It's natural to be deeply affected by your loved one's actions, but you must stop these emotions before they seep into your heart and take root. Declare with faith and determination, my God is with me as a mighty giant. Therefore, I choose not to fear what the enemies may do. Repeat those words. My child, know that surrounding you are many warrior angels poised for battle, ready to defend you at a moment's notice. They await my signal, but they need to see your faith, your active choice to believe I cannot order them to protect you and lead you to better circumstances until you are ready to, to embrace greater challenges. I hold countless blessings in my hands that I long to give you, but first you must surrender all those burdensome emotions to me. I want to elevate you to a level where your faith is active and vibrant. I aim to envelop you with my divine blessing, but you must entrust your entire life to me, holding nothing back. I will forgive your sins, leave your past behind, purify your emotions and intentions, and cast all evil into the sea's depths. It's time for you and your family to receive harmony, peace, and healing. Type 777 to show your belief in Jesus.
Know that I am always by your side. That is all you need to be aware of today. You may feel discouraged or sorrowful, but as you absorb my words, let them fill you, your heart with peace, joy, courage, and faith. And now a request from me to you. Remember my tender love throughout the day, but cease dwelling on the painful experiences that have marred your life. A new era of restoration and rejuvenation is approaching. Lost blessings will be restored. Doors previously closed will swing open from heaven. I will shower you with abundant goodness that will enrich and comfort your soul. Walk forward from this day with the conviction that I, your God and Heavenly Father, omnipotent and overflowing with love for you, will always be by your side. Let this assurance ignite within you a fiery passion to live a life filled with purpose and mission. Embrace the desire to adhere to the commandments of your King and Lord, and never feel ashamed of your faith in me, and my word rejoice in anticipation of the wonders I will perform in your life and in the lives of your family. For all who believe in me have the right to be heard in my presence, to receive the fruits of their faith and obedience. Expect soon. Supernatural and wonderful miracles, you will witness many positive changes in the lives of those you love, and this will bring you immense joy. Even if challenges and difficulties arise, remain steadfast in your faith, trusting that I will never leave your side. I'm always with you in every moment and situation. I'm here to help you. You can speak to me with confidence and faith but you must also be prepared to listen. Engage with my written word through it. I will speak directly to your heart. It will infuse you with my spirit, fortifying you with a strength that no one can take away. Promise me with your own words that you will seek me daily with your love and faith. I am always here waiting for you, even if your schedule is hectic and you must rush off. Try to give me just a minute to receive this word that will uplift you. Type 999 to manifest miracles in your life. I am pleased with you. You have touched my heart deeply. Despite the challenges you face, you continue to place your trust in me and have not wavered therefore. I affirm today that I will bestow even more blessings upon you and your family do not falter or cease moving forward, do not succumb to fear, continue to lift your hands to heaven when fatigue weighs heavily on you during your journey, take a moment to sit and converse with me, share your thoughts, your plans, what lies in your heart and how you feel. Remember man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that emanates from my throne. The nourishment I provide now is blessed and will sustain you with encouragement, tranquility, and confidence. I offer you my peace, accept it into your heart today, when the journey seems too difficult to continue. Let the flame of my love remind you of my constant presence. Do not fix your gaze upon people. They can fail you do not rely solely on others' affection and approval. While it is true that I created you to love and be loved, remember that the only true eternal love that will always be yours is my steadfast love, which will never fail or forsake you. Guard your heart against those who might abandon you. Do not entrust your future to those who may stop loving you after receiving everything from you. Do not give the highest place in your soul to those who could betray you, hurt you, and disrupt your life. You have sought hope. And here it is. Type yes. If you are ready for the blessings that you are about to receive, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. You have prayed for peace, and now it is yours. Remind yourself that you are not alone, that you are not forsaken. Even if your closest family or friends might leave, know that my boundless and magnificent love is always available to you. It is a profound joy to realize and feel. 
feel that your Heavenly Father cares for you deeply. I am fully aware of your need for these words. I am eager to help you navigate through your challenges, to overcome discouragement, and to continue forward without losing faith so that you can succeed and flourish trust in me as your Heavenly Father feel free to converse with me and share your needs. For I also desire for you to perceive me as a close friend. I am ready to extend my hand to you, assuring you that I am always attentive, always listening. Engaging in conversation with me is beneficial. It heals your soul, calms your mind, and by verbalizing your feelings, you activate your faith, setting the stage for miracles to unfold. My beloved today, I come to you with words of comfort and hope. I know that days have been hard and the weight of your worries has dimmed the joy in your heart, but listen closely to what I say now. Let the peace that comes from me, the peace that surpasses all understanding, flood your soul in this moment. This peace is not fleeting, nor is it dependent on the circumstances around you. It is a deep peace, rooted in my constant presence in your life, when everything around you seems seems unstable. When storms arise and fear tries to take hold of your heart, remember that I am with you. Type 111. If you believe in Jesus, I am your firm. Rock your secure anchor amidst the chaos. You don't need to carry the weight of anxieties and worries alone. I invite you to cast all your burdens upon me, for I care for you. Don't let anxiety find a place in your heart. Let it be replaced by a serene trust, knowing that I, the Lord, am in control of all things. I know your longings, your doubts, the internal battles you face daily. That is why I say to you, open your heart to the peace I offer you. Feel how this peace fills every void, calms every inner storm, and brings with it an unshakable assurance that you are safe in my arms. Life can be full of challenges, and the path may seem arduous, but always remember that you never walk alone. My presence is constant. My hand is always extended to guide you wherever you go. Carry with you this certainty. I am the God who brings peace in the midst of war, tranquility in the midst of the storm, and rest in the midst of weariness. So, beloved child, trust. Let yourself be enveloped by this peace that only I can give a peace that is not of this world, but that resides in every promise I have made to you, and every word of love I have whispered to your heart. With this peace you can face any challenge, knowing that I am with you now, and always never underestimate the power of prayer. It is the channel through which you speak with me. But it is also how I pour out my grace upon your life each time you kneel to pray. You are opening your heart to me, and I tell you, I hear every word, every plea, every tear shed in prayer. Even when words fail, and all you can offer is the silence of a broken heart. Know that I understand. I read the deepest thoughts. I feel the most hidden emotions. Prayer is not just a routine, not just a religious obligation. It is a moment of encounter between the Creator and His creation type. Amen in the name of Jesus. It is when I can envelop you with my love, and you can feel the warmth of my presence. No matter how brief or long your prayer is, what matters is the sincerity with which you come to me. I want you to know that no prayer is in vain. Even those that seem to have no immediate answer or that you think have been forgotten, I keep them, and in my perfect time I respond to each one. Sometimes the answer you expect does not come in the way you imagined, but I assure you I am always working for your good. Keep praying with faith and perseverance. Know that your words have power and that I am moving heaven and earth on your behalf. Have prayer, can transform situations, change, hearts, bring healing and restoration above all. Prayer strengthens your faith, draws you closer to me, and gives you the strength to carry on. Never stop praying. Never stop believing that I am listening. 
and while you pray, allow me to fill you with my peace, which envelops and protects you, because in every prayer there is a promise that I will always be with you. Listening, caring, and guiding your steps, beloved child, I want to talk to you about the adversities you face. I know that many times the path seems steep and difficulties arise like insurmountable mountains. But I want you to know, I am with you in every step, in every battle. Adversities are a part of the journey, but they were not sent to defeat feet you. On the contrary, they exist to strengthen you to teach you to trust in me even more. When you find yourself facing a challenge, remember that you are not alone. I am your refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble, when the pain seems unbearable, when the weight of problems threatens to crush you. Turn your gaze to me. I am the God who turns mourning into dance in sorrow, into joy, defeat into victory. Type yes. If you are ready for the blessings that you are about to receive, and if you believe in Christianity, Kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. Every difficulty you face is an opportunity to experience my power more deeply, to see my hand working miracles in your life. I know there are moments when you feel weak without strength to continue, but it is precisely in those moments that my grace is perfected in your weakness, no matter the size of the mountain before you. With my help you can overcome it. I am by your side strengthening you, guiding you, sustaining you, trust in me. Dear child, do not be discouraged in the face of, of adversities. I give you the strength necessary to overcome them, and the victory will be yours. Every battle won is a testimony of my love and my power working in your life. And when the adversities are overcome, you will see that they were merely steps leading you to a higher level. Closer to me, the Christian life is a journey of faith, and this journey requires you to remain steadfast, even when everything around you seems to be pushing you to give up. Perseverance is not just continuing for the sake of continuing. It is moving forward with faith, even when the results are not immediate. I know that sometimes you feel tempted to give up to leave everything behind, but I say to you, do not give up. There are blessings waiting for you, but they will only be revealed to those who do not stop halfway when you persevere. You are telling the spiritual world that you trust in me that you believe in my promises even when you have not yet seen them fulfilled. Perseverance is the proof of your faith. It is what keeps you standing even in the storms type. I embrace my power to affirm. I promise you that your perseverance will not be in vain. Every effort, every tear, every prayer, every step taken in faith will be rewarded. I am with you every moment, encouraging you to continue, not to look back, but to keep your focus on the promises I made to you. Remember, child, that the journey may be long, but the destination will be worth it. Do not be discouraged by the stones on the path, by the obstacles that arise, because I have already prepared the end of your journey, and when you persevere to the end, you will see that it was all worth it, because the reward I have for you is great and glorious. Stay strong. Keep believing. Keep walking. I am with you, and nothing can stop you, because those who persevere in me will overcome my dear child. I want to talk to you about the promises I have reserved for you know that for, for every battle you face, there is a reward for every tear you shed. There is a blessing waiting to be poured out over your life. I am the God who rewards those who remain faithful, who do not give up in the face of difficulties. The blessings I have for you are not just to comfort you in times of pain, 
but also to elevate you to take you to new levels of faith and communion with me every step you take toward me. Every time you choose to trust in my promises, I prepare new blessings that go beyond what you can imagine. Often you may not immediately see the result of your faith, but I assure you, I am working on your behalf. I am preparing the way so that at the right moment, the blessings I have stored up for you will manifest powerfully and transformatively in your life. These blessings are not just material but spiritual as well. I want to bless you with peace, with wisdom, with a deep understanding of my truths. I want to give you joy that does not depend on circumstances, hope that remains alive in any situation. Prepare yourself, child, because the blessings I have for you are great. Keep walking, keep trusting, and you will see that I am faithful to fulfill every promise type. I'm abundant to affirm the doors I open. No one can close, and the blessings I pour out are abundant and complete. Receive them with faith, and let these blessings lead you to a life full of purpose and joy. In me, I want you to understand the central role of faith in the spiritual battles you face. Faith is not just a belief in something greater. It is the strength that sustains you in the midst of battles. The light that guides your steps when everything around you seems dark in your journey. You will face challenges that go beyond the physical battles that are fought in the spiritual realm. In these battles, your faith is your most powerful weapon. It is faith that connects you to me, that reminds you of the promises I have made to you, and that gives you the certainty that even even in the midst of war, you are not alone. Every time you declare your faith in me, every time you choose to trust in my word, you are overcoming the forces that try to bring you down. Faith allows you to see beyond the circumstances, beyond what is visible, and to perceive what I am doing behind the scenes of your life. Remember, child, that faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. Even when the evidence seems contrary, even when everything around you screams that it is impossible, faith reminds you that I am the God of the impossible, that nothing is too hard for me. Strengthen your faith, nourish it daily with my word, with prayer, with communion with me, because faith not only keeps you standing in the battles but also lead you to victory. And every time you win a spiritual battle, your faith grows becoming stronger, more unshakable. Keep fighting with faith, knowing that I am with you in every battle. And remember, victory is certain for those who trust in me. Being brave does not mean the absence of fear, but rather the courage to move forward, even when fear tries to paralyze you. I have called you to be strong and courageous, not to fear the difficulties that rise against you. Bravery is your spirit's response to situations that challenge your faith when fear knocks on your door. Remember that I am with you. Type yes. If you are ready for the blessings that you are about to receive, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. Remember that the one who dwells within you is greater than any challenge the world can present. Bravery allows you to face the giants that appear on your path. These giants can take many forms, insecurities, doubts, seemingly insurmountable problems. But I tell you, do not fear, for I give you the strength to overcome them. Take care of your yourself. Type I claim it. If you receive this declaration, type yes. If you're ready and share this video with five people who trust God, comment, Jesus is Lord to support our channel. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on bell notifications type 777 if you believe this like this video and subscribe to the channel if, if you believe in God. Type I really love you God and if you believe in Christianity, Kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. 
type amen. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to reach 15,000 divine subscribers very soon. Please share this video to your loved ones. Type amen to affirm. Thanks for watching.